this is Jeremy. Um, I got another little application I'm going to show you guys. Well, a lot of people use App Zapper, which is awesome, but it's uh, not free. And I found this one that's called App Cleaner. It does the same sort of thing, and it is totally free. So uh, I'll go ahead and start off up here. Um, show you about App Cleaner. Uh, get your preferences. You can have it check for updates. Uh, you can close the application, uh, basic edit menu. Um, here's where you can select applications, preferences, caches, receipts, uh, and you can deselect. Uh, then you've got your basic window and help menus. So I'll go ahead and go into the uh, preferences real quick. You can actually drag applications on here and it will make it to where uh, they're protected and you can't delete them on accident. Uh, it, you can have it set to protect launched apps, which are ones that are already over here that are opened. Uh, you can have it protect default apps, which I'm guessing is uh, anything that came on your Mac when you bought it. Um, and you can enable 3D transitions, which basically just... Is that right there? Um, then you got Smart Delete you can turn on and uh, if you if you delete an application it'll actually go in automatically even if you don't use this application to delete it if it sees that it's in the trash can it will delete all the uh, files that are related to that application uh, which I probably should, should uh, probably should turn on uh, and then we have updates when you can have it automatically check for updates and you can check for updates from right here. 1.22 is the uh, newest version. Okay, so you got your applications here, and this will actually go through and load all your applications that you have on here. Uh, you just click the little uh, box here next to any that you want to delete, uh, and then you can have it search, which the one I'm going to be deleting to show you guys is Clean My Mac. Uh, you can do it just like this, and it'll actually find all the files related to it. Uh, you can go into your widgets. Uh, it'll go in and find all your different widgets and you can delete them from here. And all the files related to the, uh, the widgets. Um, then you've got other, which is mostly, I think, just preferences for different applications and stuff like that. Um, there's two, like I said, two different ways you can do this. You can either go down here and check mark it, or if you've got it up here, you can just drag it into here and it will find the same files and again click delete and it will delete that application and all the files related to it off of your system instead of just deleting the application and leaving everything else there so uh, it's definitely a cool application it's free uh, which I've found a lot of these applications that do the same thing and most of them charge or only partially do the job unless you you know purchase the app so uh, definitely cool for anybody that wants to find an application to delete other applications uh, for free. This is definitely the one you're going to want to try. So uh, check it out and uh, leave some comments and let me know how you like it. And uh, comment, rate, subscribe as always. And I will be back with more videos soon. Thanks.